<clears throat> when I was in high school, my friends loved hanging out at coffee shops. This was a great place where we could socialize, you could do a little people watching, you could also get a little caffeine buzz going. My problem was, at that time, I couldn't afford all the mochas and lattes and cappuccinos that my friends were drinking. I didn't have any kind of steady income, but I had a solution to this. When I'd walk into a coffee shop, I'd pick up a few of these, sugar packets. Tear the top off, knock a couple of these back, and I found that a, a sugar buzz was actually a decent substitute for a caffeine buzz. And yes, I realize how pathetic that sounds. <laughs> Almost sounds like I had a little bit of a sugar problem back there. I could probably be the poster child for substance abuse, or at the very least, the American Diabetes Association. Uh, but I assure you, my little sugar habit never got out of control, and it actually led me to a discovery. See, I would go home at the end of the night, and oftentimes I'd have a few extra of these sugar packets in my pocket, so I'd empty them out onto my dresser. And over time, I noticed that I, I had a little collection going there. And as I looked through these sugar packets, I started to notice there's actually a lot of variety to these things. A lot of different companies, a lot of different logos, a lot of different designs. And as a teenager, I thought, oh, it might be kind of fun to start collecting sugar packets. So I come to you today, fellow Toastmasters and guests, to confess that I am a sugar packet collector. <laughs> Today, I'll share with you a little bit about why I enjoy collecting sugar packets. And I'll also share with you a revelation that I had just last week. Something I'd never realized before about my role as a collector. So first off, why do I collect these things? Well, the main thing is, is the variety. There's so much. You never really even think about this, but I'll, I'll show you some examples. Most of these just say the word sugar on them, but there are also uh, restaurants that print their logos on sugar packets, um, hotels, amusement parks, casinos, airlines all print their logos on them. As I've had the opportunity to travel to other countries, I've gotten to see sugar packets that are printed in other languages. This is from Thailand. Uh, I have lots of uh, azúcar packets from Mexico and South America. Um, some countries don't even use packets. They have these sugar tubes. I thought these were interesting. And uh, one place actually had individually wrapped sugar cubes. Um, and then other places, they just print uh, these pictures of cityscapes and landscapes from the local area. So what's nice about this, as I look through my collection from the last 20 years, it brings back all these memories of the places that I've been um, and the, the places I've traveled. The other thing I really like about these is they're really easy to collect. First of all, they're free, so that's nice, right? Um, and they're so small, so they're really easy to transport with you. Now contrast that with my parents. They've been known to go on a trip, bring an entire empty suitcase with them, just so they can fill it with all the souvenirs they're going to bring home with them. I, on the other hand, need about two square inches of space in my suitcase, and I'm set with all the souvenirs that I'm going to take home with me. It doesn't take a lot of space to store, either. This is my entire collection, 566 sugar packets. Uh, it takes up about the size of a <coughs> box in my closet. I don't think anyone's going to accuse me, <coughs> excuse me, of being a hoarder for this moderate collection of sugar packets. So that's why I like collecting them. They're, they're easy to collect, they bring back a lot of memories, they're easy to store. Let me talk about this revelation that I had last week. Now, I've always thought of this as kind of a unique quirk of mine. Anytime that someone has actually caught me pilfering a packet of sugar in my pocket, I'd have had to explain what I was doing. They looked at me like I was a crazy person. And with good reason. I mean, I've never met anyone else who collects sugar packets. Which got me to thinking, is there anyone else in the world who has this same crazy hobby? So last week I did a Google search, sugar packet collection. And what I found out is there is someone else in the world who collects sugar packets. As a matter of fact, there are a lot of people in the world who collect sugar packets. I had no idea. These are all Google images of different people's sugar packet collections from around the world. Uh, some people have their entire Instagram accounts dedicated to just showcasing their sugar packet collections. Uh, I saw this and I was like, oh, why didn't I think of that? That's a pretty good idea. Um, there's actually a term for this. Sucrology is the hobby of collecting sugar packets. We have our own Wikipedia page. 
Um, there is a society in Great Britain called the UK Sucrologist Club of Sugar Packet Collectors. And for a $22 membership fee, you can subscribe to their quarterly newsletter. And the kicker, there is an international convention of sugar packet collectors <laughs> who meet every year in Italy. Uh, oh, and of course, if you can't make it all the way out to Italy, you can always turn to eBay, where people will be happy to sell you their sugar packet collections, or pieces of it. Fellow Toastmasters and guests, I had no idea. I found all this last week as I was preparing for the speech, and it blew my mind. Totally turned my worldview upside down. I mean, here I was thinking that, that I was unique, that I was a snowflake, that this collection made me special. <laughs> Turns out I'm just a little fish in a very big pond. Uh, according to that Wikipedia page, the world record for largest collection, there's a guy in Germany, has 14,500 sugar packets. My little collection here pales in, pers in oh perspective. My gosh. Uh, maybe through perseverance I can get there, but I did the math. It'll take me, at the current rate I'm going, it'll take me over 500 years to get 14,500 <laughs> packets. Um, so I, I was a little saddened by this, but on the other hand, I was encouraged by it. It, it was comforting to know that I'm not alone, that there are other people who share this crazy interest, that I, I'm not a freak. I, I can reach out and connect with these people if I want to, and there's something very reassuring about that, something very sweet, uh, no, no pun intended. Um, so in summary, I have shared a little about how I got started collecting sugar packets back in high school. I explained why I enjoy collecting them, and I shared this revelation that I'm actually not the only person in the world who collects sugar packets. I'd like to leave you with two takeaways. First, if you're ever out and about, especially overseas, and you see an interesting sugar packet, please bring it back to me. I will happily add it to my collection. And second, whatever your quirks are, whatever your eccentricities or strange hobbies, I guarantee that there's someone else out there who shares your interests. You are not alone. It's up to you to reach out and find them. And I know. It may seem like I'm taking that message and sugarcoating it, <laughs> but it's the truth, Mr. Toastmaster. <laughs>